What's up, Pizza Holics? I'm over here in Chelsea. Behind me is Madison Square Garden. I'm over here at Pizza Suprema, guys. What do you say we go eat, guys? Alright guys, what do we got? Ten bucks, two slices. Two slices, ten bucks. Yep. You're paying for Madison Square Garden, that's what you're paying for. I gotta say guys, these pizzas look amazing. Wow, check out those chunky tomatoes, guys. Crackling on the bend. Mm. Oh, did you hear that crispy first bite? Doing a little dance. Oh, the spices. All right, guys, what do you say we move on into the lab and get a closer look? I've had this place on my list very high for quite some time. I've refrained from visiting until now because of the look of the pizza on the Internet. Yeah, 2,000 and a half Yelp reviews or whatever, Anthony Bourdain and all that. But hey, when I see crust that looks kind of ordinary and kind of pale, until you turn it around guys until you turn it around and until you taste it look at the blisters and the goosebumps present on this crust you know how much i love i love that that's what i look for guys i look for that guys nice bubbles goosebumps light crust light it's pretty decent crust looks pale on top i mean so does the fara sometimes the fara can look really pale on the top edge of the cornichone, the top of the cornichone, but uh, this this crust was pretty decent, guys. What I also loved was that they drizzled olive oil on this thing. You can see that nice bright kind of green sheen on it. Oh man, that's a plus. And the sauce was the standout. They're using fantastic. Uh, I don't even think I'd call this sauce. It's kind of like a crushed tomato. After chewing it six times, you get the sweetness, but it starts out savory and fruity, very chunky and ripe. Oh, Lord, that's a good tomato sauce, baby. That's how I love my tomato sauce. Heavily topped with not only basil, which was aromatic, nice and green. Look at that. Very pungent, but also heavily topped with oregano and pretty damn good oregano, guys. Look at all that oregano. You know how much I love me some of that herb. I'm an herbaceous kind of dude. I love all sorts of herbs. Is the cheese. Now, this pizza is semi-warm. It's been sitting here. I had the slice. I came inside. I walked from uh, the, the place to the car right down the block. And uh, the cheese has cooled down and it retains moisture. It's not that dry ass fresh mozzarella that I can't stand. It is absolutely rich, fatty, and uh, had a really good creamy taste to it and you're getting pretty decent cheese throughout it's a one cheese it's a two cheese it's a two cheese you got a little bit of that grated palm you can see dots on a margarita that's a plus that that fits my criteria right here guys this pizza here fits my criteria margarita two types of herbs two types of cheese olive oil look at that crust drenched aeration was uh, on the moderate side I'd say the aeration was on the moderate side, but you can see some air pockets there. It's not exactly the spongiest thing on earth. I mean, if the whole pizza was pale, if the whole thing was pale, I would have moved it down the scale, but this is not a pale pizza, guys. This is not a pale pizza. High quality ingredients, and this is a popular place. 
and you would think a place like this would produce high volume pizza. This pizza right here, guys, blows the Nona Maria out of the water. It's more herbaceous than the Nona Maria slice at Bleecker Street Pizza. This pizza blows the Nona Maria Bleecker Street Pizza out of the water. It's not a flat breadstick. You know, it's not like a big fat cracker. It's pliable, it's doughy, it's soft, and it's crunchy on the bottom. All right, guys, it's about that time. The pizza gets cold. We give it another fold to test it for its integrity. Lost a little bit of its snap. Little bit, little bit, little crackling going on. No flop all day for Pizzeria Suprema, guys. I can guarantee you that. No flop all day. This crust is way above average in terms of uh, classic New York style gas oven fired pizza. Uh, good, I love that char on there. Crisp from first bite to last. And it kind of lost some of its uh, snap and it's not crackling as much as it did when it was cold. I mean, <laughs> when it was hot. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not exactly a, uh, a heavy chew. This pizza is, is very uh, much, uh, the chew was very moderate. It didn't exactly, it never tasted gummy or doughy. So above average crust, not the best. It's not the fara. It's not, uh, you know, those lighter crusts like, uh, you know, Angelo's in Philly or, uh, uh, you know, Lucali or things like that. But it's, re it's really above average. Sauce, way above average. One of the best I've ever had. Some of the best tomato sauce I've ever had on a pizza. And one of the most herbaceous and highly aromatic pizzas that I've ever had. This is like on Santillo level when it comes to the amount of uh, herb and fragrance. Guys, 8-2 for Pizzeria Suprema. 8.2, absolutely a must visit if you're in this neighborhood. It's a pizza that you, you drive 30 minutes for. If you're, if you're in the, uh, the Upper West Side or if you live in the village, this is a place you hop in your car and drive to or hop on a bus or whatever, a train and experience this place. Uh, and not only for its margarita, which was excellent, but uh, it's other stuff. They make a lot of different varieties of pizza in there. So uh, go check them all out if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, but you got to try the margarita. That's pizza in its... Form. Be well guys, smash that like, hit that subscribe button if you can, and until next time, keep those bellies full folks, preferably with some fantastic pizza over here at Pizzeria Suprema in Chelsea, New York City. This is Antonio, signing off.